Hello everyone, my name is Charlie Liu. I'm the College Technical Analyst in Student Services. And I'm also happen to be uh, one of the administrators for our Academic Works Scholarship Management System called uh, Academic Works. Uh, I'm here today to uh, go over the scholarship review process with you. Uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen so you can see our agenda for today. Uh, our, we have two main uh, objectives today. One is to share with you some of our scholarship review group best practices, as well as how to navigate our Academic Works uh, scholarship management system. Uh, before we get started, I just want to go over some general housekeeping items. Uh, number one is remember to review the training videos, the other training videos that we have in place. Uh, we have a general orientation one, as well as one equity data analysis one. Both are very engaging and it helps to kind of put you in the correct mindset uh, before you begin the scholarship review um, um, uh, work. Okay, uh, also some important dates to be mindful of. As you can see here, February 17th is when the scholarship application and references are closed uh, to students. Um, Dates that will be important to you is February 18th to 11th. This is actually when you'll have access to our academic work system. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about it later on how to get access, but this will be your review period. Uh, on February 18th, it's also another important date as you will get an email uh, indicating who will be on your review team, as well as your scholarship balance um, as a review chair. Uh, this is a, a very important time to start beginning and establishing a process on how to approach this work. Some of the ideas or things that you want to consider is uh, maybe establishing a meeting schedule, um, maybe a process timeline. Um, things you want to discuss with your team is how many applications um, you want each member to review. You want to talk a little bit about the the grade rubric, make sure everyone is on the same page and how to, uh, in understanding those grading uh, criteria, as well as uh, validating applicant qualifications. So let's say if, if GPA happens to be one of those items that is important and or that you wanna verify, you wanna be able to share with the team where to locate this information on the uh, application, as well as address any questions about technology or any general questions your team may have about this process as you may, uh, as some members may be new to this um, endeavor. And then most importantly, um, it's, it'll be good to consider maybe scheduling a follow-up meeting um, uh, after all the scores have been entered to uh, talk with your team, but we'll jump into that in a little bit later. Okay. So, uh, let's get started. So the first thing on Friday, February 18th, is when you'll get uh, an email notification from Academic Works. And here is a sample email that you will receive uh, as review committee members. Uh, and this email will give you a link on how to access our uh, Academic Works system. Okay. Now, some things to keep in mind before you click on this link and get into the system. Uh, I have some notes here. Uh, remember to use uh, Firefox or Chrome. Uh, we notice when uh, users try to log in using the browser, the Internet Explorer browser, there be there could be uh, certain elements that are missing. So keep in mind to use Firefox or Chrome. Um, also, things to remember, if you have a previous Academic Works account, uh, you can log in using that account. If you're brand new to, pro to the process, if you've never created an account before, then you can go ahead and, and go do the account uh, uh, setup process. Uh, when you enter into the system, uh, remember to click on the References and Reviewers tab. Uh, that's the part, that's a section you want to sign in. Uh, this will allow you to see uh, the, the scholarship applications. Um, however, if there's any questions, if you need any assistance, our student affairs team is right by your side. You can email us or call us and we can assist. 
All right, so I'm just gonna exit out of my screen share for a second. And I will go ahead and share with you uh, the system. So this is your login. So in that email, once you click on that login, it'll take you to this page. And this is where you can sign in or sign up. Uh, in my case, since I have an account already, I will be in sign in uh, um, section. And again, you want to click on the references and um, a reviewer section uh, to, to log in. Okay, I'm just going to change my status to reviewer. All right, so here we go. So once you sign into the system as a reviewer, uh, you'll, you'll be presented with this screen. Uh, a couple elements I want to point out to you is number one here. Uh, you notice that uh, I have four um, uh, assigned uh, scholarships to review or applications to review. Okay. You also notice here, if you are a uh, review chair, you notice you also have this number here, a higher number. So on our scholarship, on this particular scholarship, we know that we have a total of six reviewers. So as a chair, you will, we, you'll be able to see your own reviews as well as the reviews of your uh, fellow uh, colleagues as well. So therefore you have to, uh, as a chair, you'll have two uh, uh, options to view and also download, uh, which we'll cover in a little bit later. Right. So to, to begin the review process, you want to click on this element here. And this will pull you into the screen. So as you can see, for this particular scholarship, we have four uh, applicants. Um, a button I want to share with you first is our opportunity details. Uh, from here, by clicking that, you can, can see uh, a little description of the scholarship as well as the eligibility requirements and so forth, okay? Now to begin uh, and, yeah, and begin and, and jump in into the review process, all you have to do is click on begin. So this first uh, student here, I'll click begin and it will pull me into this particular application. Now within this view, I have two, uh, two actually views um, I can select from, actually three. Uh, I have the reviewers view, uh, which will allow me to see the, um, the rubric, as well as the ability to enter a score. Okay, so there's four rubric criteria here. Um, I can also view it from the application perspective. This is the student uh, application. So I can see their name, uh, the GPA and so forth. And if you scroll down, there's a bunch of questions as well as their submission, their, their essay, if that was required um, uh, for the student to complete. Okay. Now the view I actually like the best is the side-by-side -side view. This actually allows me to see the application on the left and then the rubric on the right. So as I review the, the student's application, I can actually assign the score accordingly. So as you can see, um, it's pretty simple. Um, uh, you can just simply work your way through uh, all the different applicants on your end. And once you have assigned a score to each one, you can then hit the submit button to finalize your scoring. Uh, at the same time, even though you hit submit, you can always go back and update your scores if needed, okay? So at this end, I will go ahead and hit submit. And it will assign the score to the student. All right, now to exit this view, I can always hit exit side by side and it will take me out, okay? Now, as the scholarship chair, as I mentioned earlier, you have a, the opportunity, you have a unique view of being able to see all the applicants, to, of all the scores, 
So if you go back in to the applicant, I'm sorry, go back into the reviewer screen. Um, you can then assume uh, all the reviews, reviews are done by your scholarship team. Uh, one note of thumb is that you can actually download all the scores. And this may be a good idea uh, as, a, as, a, as a chair to download these scores and bring it to your follow-up meeting so everyone can discuss, um, 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 have a formal discussion about who to select as the winner of the scholarship. Um, as a review chair, you can click on this review to chair link. Okay, assuming, so you can see there's not, there isn't 24 yet, but eventually if all 24 scores have been entered, uh, this will be populated. So to download all the scores, you just simply click on this little downward arrow here. Click on download items or download documents. And then as it tells you here, your report, your report is being generated. Um, uh, you just give it a couple seconds and then hit the refresh button here or refresh uh, link. And then your scholarship report is ready. And then from here, you can simply click on this link and it will download it as a zip file for you. Okay, you can easily save it onto your desktop. And then from there, it will open up as a uh, Excel or CSV document. And then you can sort it accordingly, either by score, by name, however, however you wish. Okay. All right, I'm going to bring us back to the presentation. Now, just uh, to, to re reiterate uh, some of the important things as the role of the chair, um, uh, remember to schedule a follow-up meeting with your team. Uh, as you know, the, the scores are due on March 11th, so maybe set up a meeting on March uh, 9th or 10th so that your, your team um, can come together and review the scores and application as a group. So just because the advocate, you may have some ties or maybe uh, there may be a, a, a uh, you, you can have, um, you can have an opportunity to advocate for maybe uh, deserving applicants. So it's not necessarily based on, on merit and maybe judge these applications uh, holistically. Um, as a review chair, uh, you will receive an email uh, with a link to identify who the winner or winners of the scholarship uh, is. Um, also remember that to also select alternates uh, for your scholarship winners. Uh, keep in mind that a student can only win a maximum of three scholarships. And then from there, our team will take uh, the baton and we'll do the final determination and go into the system to notify the recipients that they have received a scholarship offer. Okay. So know that you are not alone in this process. We're here to help. If you have any questions or there's any, any concerns, you need assistance, please reach out to our uh, student affairs team. Here's our email or phone number uh, for you to keep handy. And also some next steps uh, to remember uh, There, you will also receive a reviewer feedback survey that will be coming out later on. And also remember to save this important date April 28th is our scholarship award banquet. So we look forward to uh, hopefully seeing you all there. Again, thank you so much for participating in this very, very important um, uh, role as scholarship reviewer. And um, we look forward to, um, to assisting you if you guys have any questions. All right, have a great day. Thank you, bye.